299 Queen Street West. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, please welcome Virgin Mornings. Love the mornings. With Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. It's very fun, isn't it? Okay. Hey, good morning. Mm-hmm. It's Tuesday. And you're heading into a long weekend. I want you to feel really, oh. really good about that. Yes. I forgot it's a long weekend. Now the recommend you don't see anyone. Yeah. However, you could get binoculars and yeah. you could at least know that humanity exists somewhere. It's also going to be absolutely beautiful this weekend, well, it's sounding like. Just so. going to say, yeah. 20 and 22 <laughs> on Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. That's going to be Hell yeah. the, the, probably the... I'm, I cannot remember a Thanksgiving where it was 20 no. degrees. No. That's no. insane. Thanks, Global Warming. Thank you, Global Warming. Uh, at least for this year. Uh, now, um, great show this morning. Exciting show. $500 at 7 o'clock instantly. We also have a cuffing season sleep country prize Ooh. pack for you and... Whoever. Oh. That's at 6.30. And then at 8.30, we want to send you on a Friendsgiving trip, but not this year. Next, with Swoop Airlines, you got to tell us where you want to go. Text thanks and your story to 999 right now. In the meantime, let's check in with everybody. TJ, what's on your mind? Do you guys know anyone that has a famous person tattooed on them? I have a buddy with Elvis tattooed on them. Really? Yeah, okay, that's a pretty Scotia. common one. Yeah. Uh, there's a woman named Nikki in Scotland who just set a Guinness World Record for having a, uh, a oh, celebrity this. tattooed on them as many times as she t- did. She has the most tattoos of a celebrity. And 15 it's, times. And it's Eminem. Eminem. She has 15 <laughs> Eminem tattoos. You know, after 14, you're like, okay, this is the last one. Oh, you should got to set the world record, though. Rap You've gone that far. Okay. Oh, Jax, cute. what about you? Hidden new low boys. You uh, ever eaten from the garbage? Ever eaten from the garbage? Yeah. So I, I uh, think last so. night, like in your home last night, I um, so I had this huge box of cookies and I have no self control, and so I put the cookies in the garbage. There was just a couple left, big nice cookies, and I put it in the garbage. And then about an hour and a half later, I dug into, I've done that. into the garbage. Nothing and wrong with my that. Cookies. I you, oh, you hold your head high. You know what? Thank you. There's a little bit wrong with it. You, need, you needed those cookies. Thank you. Your spirit needed those cookies. Thank you, honey. Thank you. There are no more cookies at your house. Don't buy any more. Because that's the thing. <laughs> yes, I can't. No. I cannot no. No, actually I can't have, have cookies in my, in my house. house. I cannot have it. I can't, I can't have this. peanut butter in my house. I can't have bread in my house. I can't have cookies peanut in my house. If I buy it, I will consume it. You can I eat ref- peanut butter. You know that, right? No, I know you can eat peanut butter, but I, I can't. I will eat the whole thing. I refuse <laughs> to enable the both of you. Yeah. Stop <laughs> eating out of the garbage. <laughs> Producer Jesse, it's spooky season, yeah. and that means the sexy Halloween costumes are out and about. And this year's front runner for weirdest sexy costume is the sexy mail in ballot. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what hot. does it feature, Jesse? It features a lovely lady with barely we're wearing barely anything. Thing with a little sign that says mail in. Pasties. Ah, yes. Pasties on the this. Okay. That's what those are? Yeah. Mail, yeah. mail yeah. are in. They're called, yeah. I thought those were called <laughs> chicken cutlets all this time. <laughs> okay. So, listen. Uh, this morning, it's going to get weird and wonderful. We've got trending up next. And after that, where's my money from yesterday? You got to hear this one. I've always been the one to say the food. And this is what's trending right now. Doug Ford says he needs hardcore evidence before closing down restaurants, saying these people have put their life in these small restaurants, everything they've had. I have to make sure of 100%, and we've proven before that we'll do it, but I have to see the evidence before I take someone's livelihood from them and shut their lives. He also mentioned that the Ministry of Labor needs to conduct more inspections of restaurants to find out which um, uh, restaurants in the yeah, province are, yeah. quote, bad actors. Yeah. So the people that are, like say they're following the rules, yeah. but they aren't, which there mm-hmm. isn't a ton of. No. Uh, they've also announced that there's going to be tighter restrictions in Ottawa, Toronto, and Peel. Drake surprised a Toronto teenager in Sick Kids with a video message, and this was making the rounds yesterday. It was actually really beautiful. So Zalik Marie has been battling a rare form of brain cancer since he was just nine years old. And this week he received a surprising message from one of his heroes. Uh, Marie's now 14 and was shocked to receive this video message from Drake. I can't imagine, you know, how tough you have to be. And Mustafa let me know that you're a fan of mine. Well, I'm a fan of you. Uh, I'm a fan of people with heart. And I can tell that you that you have a lot of heart. So I just want to tell you, uh, stay strong. I love you, and I appreciate you. You have to imagine the amount of requests that Drake gets for oh, those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. So for him to take the time out of his day to send a message like that just meant the world to somebody's really cool thing. And shout out to Zalik Murray, wishing him all the best. Drinking coffee before breakfast could actually have really negative effects on your health. According Damn. to the British Journal of Nutrition, drinking coffee as a way to wake up first thing in the morning could have negative effect on blood glucose levels. The- 
moral of the story is, after the last science words, it essentially uh, comes down to coffee could mess with your sugar levels and actually could slow down your metabolism for the rest of the day. Early coffee, that is. So, wow. I drink so much coffee before breakfast. Like, yeah. I don't eat breakfast until 10 a.m., like, after the show's well, done. Well, no, because it, it, that flies in the face of everything they told you about fasting. Because yeah. fasting, it's like, drink black coffee, yeah. no problem, but, uh, but don't eat until a certain time of day. I think so, they're just messing with us at this point. Because every six up, months, yeah. they tell us the exact yeah. opposite of the six months before that. Because remember when it was like, never drink wine, mm -hmm. and then they're like, like, have nine glasses a day, and yeah. they're like, okay, well, three, and only if it's red, and I just can't keep up. No, it's a hard just, life, isn't it? They flat out just don't know. No, no they, they don't just know. don't know. They're just guessing. That's what's trending. I'm TJ. Thank you, TJ. But what we do know is that at 6.30, you have the opportunity of a lifetime. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you in just a little bit. Rimothi season prize pack, which includes, and I'm not kidding this, two Simba, two Simba pillows, hotel collection sheet set, Maloof woven down alternative microfiber wow. duvet, and a Maloof protect mattress protector. Ooh. Damn. You're going to have to find Ooh. out. You're going to have to guess who is spooning you. Yeah. Who is that spoon? Jax, go take it away. All right. Here's your hints, my darling. Her embrace will feel hot, even tropical, like the Barbados. <laughs> Rihanna. Hey, oh my yeah. god. What? That was really good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, you got on, the first on. one. The Barbados? Okay, I, I, I It's I just know. Barbados. I, I know it's Barbados, but I was trying to trip her up, and obviously she's too smart for us. <laughs> what's trending? And this is what's trending right now. Toronto's top dos doctor is asking people to only have Thanksgiving with people in your household, and if you live alone, participate virtually. This is yesterday. A medical officer of health, Dr. Eileen Davila, said she is seriously asking that everyone rethink their Thanksgiving plans. She asked for people to not hold a big Thanksgiving dinner and to limit the people you live with, uh, limit to the people you live with, pardon me. If you live alone, the safest option is to join others on like Zoom calls yeah. and FaceTime. Okay. Uh, far rather we change on Thanksgiving for safety's sake than look back with enormous regret, she says. So, kind of bummer news. Apple has changed the mask wearing emoji due to the coronavirus. It's a very oh. subtle change, but they made the eyes look happier. So, you know, the emoji oh. has yeah. little, like mask. Yeah. They did it so that people wouldn't associate wearing a mask with being a bad oh, yeah. oh, That's Apple. great. Hell Smart yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. So, the eyes before were just kind of like straight across. They looked a little like grumpy, but now they like, they're kind of like rounded a little yeah. bit. So, it almost looks like you're like, hmm. Uh, I saw a couple on the street yesterday. Um, they they were smiling at each other, yeah. but obviously, like, they're like newly in love. Yeah. So, he went like this, and it, he basically did did like a little swoop with his finger as in like he was smiling at her because oh, he couldn't tell. Oh, damn. It's That's like really sweet. Very, Julia very sweet. Roberts movie plot right? over here. My gosh. <laughs> so cute. Uh, by the way, that new emoji is going to be coming out with iOS 14.2 which should Woo! be out late October or, or early November. Cool. Is putting your Christmas tree up now and calling it a fall tree mm -hmm. the new trend? Well, according to some annoying people on Instagram, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. There's a trend where people are putting up their trees and they're decorating it with fall decorations like pumpkins Incredible. and spooky things. Uh, and then the day after Halloween, you change over the Christmas stuff or some people in the States are doing it uh, American Thanksgiving, which is of course in November. Damn. Right. You know, I think last year, if you had told me this story, I would probably be like, oh, like roll my eyes. Yeah. But I think this year, it's sort of... It's changed my perspective. Whatever like makes you actually happy, yeah. like, like just go if for that it. gives you joy, yeah. just do it. Like honestly, who cares? That's not none of my business what you do with your tree. I'm not going to do it. There was a study that we read last week that people who put up their Christmas decorations really early are happier because yeah. it does spark childhood joy and feelings of nostalgia. For so, sure. Like Adam said, it makes you happy. I actually, short. I went onto Amazon yesterday and was looking for a little train that I can roll around my Christmas tree. Yeah. Like a little cheap one. For that, Everly? For Everly. Stop I, it. Because I want a tree to go to Stop rotate around. It. Oh. But I want one that she can actually pick up and not destroy. So yeah. I'm hoping I can find like a Fisher Price one that is battery operated, but pretty excited well, about TJ, that. Well, TJ, we've got two months to build Everly a train. That's right. Mm. We That's must right. do it. We have the technology. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's trying to come, TJ. Thank you, TJ. Now, 7 o'clock, mm. moneymaker time. $500 instantly. Have you texted money and your name to triple nine double nine yet today? If not, do so now, and we'll see you in seven minutes. Virgin Mornings Rankings. TV shows that are so bad, they're good. And the reason we're doing this is because it looks like it's going to be a bit of a cozy weekend, and by that we mean staying in. They're asking us to for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now, this might be kind of the way things are for a little while. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is kind of, if we're going into a bit of a soft lockdown, especially in the Toronto area, we got to have a plan. Because mm -hmm. it can be fun. You can have a good time. 
Yesterday it was hobbies. Today, it is TV shows that are so bad that they are in fact good. Starting at... Okay, that was the wrong... I, I fired the number there. It didn't work. Let's try that one more time. Yeah. Okay. Number three. Hey, Jax, go ahead. Ah, sex in the City, no. baby. Oh, good <laughs> you guys, You guys know I went on a hard binge last year, and I watched the entire series. It's straight. It's white. It's too much. It's ridiculous, and I love every second of it. It's so much fun. I've seen every single episode. Yeah, I you dated do. somebody yeah. who had... The VHSs. You That's how old that show is. Whoa, yeah. Really? Yes, and she made me watch the whole damn thing. And, and you, you know loved what? it. Stop saying like you I didn't. I didn't love it at the beginning. I love it now. It's yeah, such a care. It's terrible. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> DJ, go ahead. This might be number three on my list, but it's the number one that I'm ashamed of. Oh. Family hmm. Guy. Really? What's wrong I, with that show? Because it gets a really, really bad rap, and I know it's offensive, and yeah. I know it's dumb, and I know it's immature, but there's so much bad in the world, and if I need to laugh within like 30 seconds, you pop on an episode of Family Guy, and it just makes me giggle. When they had too many sideshows, like The Cleveland Show yeah. and uh, what was yeah, the other one? That was really uh, American good. Dad, yeah, yeah. they lost a little bit of their edge, but now that those shows have been canceled, Family Guy is actually really good yeah, again, and I think good. people need to go back to it. I'm yeah. with you on that one. Number three for me, so bad it is good, Pretty Little Liars. Oh, the you dialogue. do love PLL. Ooh. Well, I do recently. Yeah. I've sort of just got into it, and it is <laughs> terrible. You can put it on in the background. <laughs> Um, the the teacher who was dating the student is actually kind of a good guy and you're rooting for him and you're like, this guy is really, I don't like this. I'm very uncomfortable. Yeah. Who is A? I don't know. I haven't got there yet. Oh, <laughs> Might even be me. But it's, Pretty but Little Liars. Not. I can assure no, there's, you that there's, it's there's, not. By the way, you. the show is completely out of date and the messaging, especially with like, oh, it's the great. lesbian storylines and all that stuff, it's like, oh, Incredibly wow. Incredibly yeah. problematic. That's yeah. how we used so to think. Far off. Yes, yeah. and yeah. it wasn't that long ago. So yeah. anyway, Pretty Little Liars is my number three. Yeah. Number Two. Jersey Shore, hey! baby. Yay! It's always true. I love that show. They're terrible, all of them, but in the sweetest way ever. Like it's like a warm blanket wrapping you in comfort. Mm. And that comfort is liquor and drama. And <laughs> I love that show. I, I like do. that show they're, a lot. They're charming in a weird way, you know? Number two for me, Forensic Files. Guys, oh, yes! I cannot get enough of Forensic Files. It's dark. The episodes are 20 minutes long. There's like 400 of them on Netflix. They give away who does the murder within the initial 10-second tease of the beginning of the show. It's so bad. It's good. I love Forensic Files. You want to watch Files. all the old Forensic Files, too? If you've got an Amazon Prime account, they've got it on Prime. They've got the original oh, really? Forensic Files and the original Unsolved Mysteries, too. So I think the original Damn. Forensic Files are the ones on Netflix. There's like four. Oh, that's on Netflix. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unsolved Mysteries is Prime. Sorry Prime. about that. Yeah. Damn. So confusing. Um, let me tell you about this. Number two. Mine was going to be the same as Jax's. So I'm going to switch mine up. Oh. Love is Blind, Netflix, from no, earlier yes. this year. Stop Love it. is Blind. No, Are they all no. beautiful? Yes. Are they all dumb? Yes. Stop waving your hands. Will anybody work out on this show? Absolutely. Well, they'll work out, but they won't actually work out with this <laughs> together. <laughs> but you can follow them all on Instagram afterwards, and their stories are very, very interesting. I don't like And they those. make a genuine transformation no. until they go back home. And then they don't make a genuine transformation. <laughs> they go back to exactly the way people they were. Love is Blind is one of the most entertaining reality shows I've ever seen in my life, and I'm not a huge okay. reality show guy. Easy, big boy. Damn. Easy. All right, Jax, let's go. Number one. Law and Order SVU. Hey. Yeah. yeah. You yeah guys, with Ice-T. Yeah, you guys know I have a troublesome relationship. Where Ice-T says, show. damn, a lot. Yeah. You know what? He's like the most reasonable one on him, though. I mean, it's, He's it's also like, the most confused member of the show. He is, he is. And you know what? It's nice to see him dip his toes into acting in that regard. But no, the show, I mean, the show has like 7,000 seasons, and it's so dark. Like, yeah, you it's so never, dark. You, you, <laughs> like, it, you better not, be in an okay mood yeah, before you yeah, watch like that show. It's like not a good time, but I also like definitely want to sleep with Livia Benson so like I'm okay sure. I'm okay same she saw it. TJ number one for me Selling Sunset oh, we no. have been obsessed with this show us. I love that show for months yeah. it is one of the most awful pieces of television <laughs> I have ever watched in True. my entire life having said that it is the number one show I recommend to anybody who will listen to me also, if you've watched the show, then you know Davina is like the worst human being ever lived. She's evil. Straight up evil. She and the great thing about that show, too, is it's relatively new. Like, yeah. very new. And there's three seasons of it. So you yep. can totally go binge fast on it's it. It's so good. Number one for me, HBO's The Affair. Oh. The Affair. Have you seen The Affair? No. No. Okay. So The Affair is basically 
they're having an affair, they're in love, you're rooting for them. But then mm-hmm. he leaves his wife, they get together, and then you're no longer rooting for him because he's a big jerk and he has another affair because that's what people who have affairs what? do. And then she randomly dies because she couldn't come to a contract <laughs> agreement with them in the fifth what? season. And then in the sixth <laughs> season, he ends up back with his wife and you're rooting for them and then somebody dies. Is it mm-hmm. the worst show in television history? It might be. But boy, does it suck you in. And the whole thing is shot uh, like it was shot in Twilight. It's just that kind of gray, gray, gray filter. It's always kind of raining. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% because it takes place in Connecticut. Yeah. Wow. So it's kind of raining. Love that show. Okay, so <laughs> it is now up to you. At 416-872-9999 or 999 to text. We need your top three shows that people need to binge. But they are so bad, they're in fact very good. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio, Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. Three, two, one. Virgin Mornings, rankings. Top three, in your opinion, shows that are so bad that they're actually really, really good. Now, we have a ton of answers to get to. And just, you know, you give an idea of some of the shows we're throwing out there. I said some Pretty Little Liars, The Affair, Jax, you said Law & Order, SVU, and uh, Sex in the City, Jersey Shore, TJ. Forensic Files, Family Guys, Selling Sunset. What do we got on the text? We got some good ones from the 905, The L Word. It's one of the worst shows in terms of acting and storyline, absolutely. But did I watch every episode multiple times? Absolutely. Yeah, so that came out in the early 2000s, and it was like one of HBO's original ones and it it was like a game changer and yeah. it's like looking back on it super pl- problematic a little bit of homophobia a little bit of transphobia mm. in there but it was like groundbreaking for its time and actually I when I I used to rent it at Blockbuster I remember what? I really used to, I used to rent the um, the box sets at Blockbuster and it was that's like, a really I, old sentence yeah it was <laughs> but it was like really contributory to me coming out and like feeling Aww. safe and like yeah it was really that's really sweet. cool show yeah that's cool groundbreaking a couple of shameless ones here. Uh, Tiger King, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Those yep. are pretty simple. Oh, Absolutely. I love Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It's, uh, it's Yeah, it's something, man. Uh, from the <laughs> 905, uh, Laguna Beach slash <gasps> The Hills. Oh, Dude. true. True, true. Oh. Number two, CSI Miami. That's the one with Horatio. He always takes off his sunglasses and says He's a one-liner. He's kind of hot. What? No, Horatio's hot. Okay, yeah. Horatio's for sure hot. Yeah. Safe space? Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. 100%. All right, we'll unpack all that later. Uh, and number one on this person's list, Gossip Girl. Excellent. Oh, GG, actually. Yeah, so I haven't seen Gossip Girl, and I'm, I'm wondering, is it like sort of like Pretty Little Liars? Because I would I watch it if, so, it's, yeah. if it's like PLL, I'm, I'm in. It's like, the one with Ed Westwick, right? Yeah. With, I can't with, look at his mouth. I, I just want to say, <laughs> the mouth guy. Yeah. I can't look at his little mouth. I don't know he's who that so is, hot, man. but like, He's yeah. the mouth guy. Would you see Ed him? Ed Westwick. Oh, yeah. It's he's like, mouth guy. I don't you, like that. Google, Google actor with the eyebrows. Google that. And you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. By the way, if you're listening to this, Google actor with the eyebrows, and you'll be like, you, "Yeah, I'm it is the actor oh, with Will the eyebrows." Yeah, Coulter. yeah. Coulter. yeah. Hey, he was in the We're the Millers and a bunch of eyebrows. other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is the actor with the eyebrows. Uh, another one from the five one nine that I keep hearing about every single day, and might be on the next list of trash <laughs> shows that we have to watch. Ninety Day Fiance, all the okay. way. There's something about people being forced to marry someone within a short period of time, and their desperation to keep the relationship going. They are complete train wrecks and I am obsessed. That's from Trissa. I have a question about that because one of them, I think it was Rob or something, the, the Big last... Big Ed? Yeah. Oh, it's Big Ed. Yeah. yeah. He, he was, he became like a meme and yeah. like all the clips were going on the internet and stuff, but I don't know where to watch it on demand. Like, is it on any of the streaming services? Like, is it I on Crave? Can you... I've got like Bell 5. Can I watch it on that? Like, it's the thing is like, I don't know where to get it. Help me. No, I'm seriously, I, I want to see it. I know. Help me. Guys, I am, I am hoarding shows right now. I'm writing <laughs> all of these down. So I just... Jack. Triple down, double down. Jax. I need your help. Jax, <laughs> you had your moment with the L word. I'm having my moment, yeah. okay? Oh my I mean, they're a moments. little bit different yeah. in principle. Oh, no, One they're totally Jax the same. Who she yeah. is <laughs> as a person, and you're just like, I want to watch yeah. 90 Day Fiance. I literally <laughs> came out, and you can't figure out the remote is what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling a little hurt and a little bullied right now. We're coming, We're coming back. More hit me. Virgin Mornings. With What's Trending. And this is What's Trending right now. 
Doug Ford says he needs hardcore evidence before closing down restaurants, saying these are people that have put their life in these small restaurants, everything they've had. I have to make sure 100%, and we've proven before that we'll do it, but we'll have to see the evidence before I take someone's livelihood from them. He also mentioned that the Ministry of Labor needs to conduct more inspections of restaurants, saying that there's a lot of bad actors out there, meaning like restaurants that are pretending to be following the rules yeah. but really aren't, and they want to shut those ones down. And they've already announced that there's going to be uh, tighter restrictions in Ottawa, Toronto, and Peel. So uh, let's just keep our eye on that story there. Drake surprised a Toronto teenager in Sick Kids with a video message. Salik Marie has been battling a rare form of brain cancer since he was just nine years old. He's 14 now, and just this week he received a very inspiring message and surprise messages from one of his heroes. You can't Drake. imagine, you know, how tough you have to be. And Mustafa let me know that you're a fan of mine. Well, I'm a fan of you. Uh, I'm a fan of people with heart, and I can tell that you that you have a lot of heart. So I just want to tell you, uh, stay strong. I love you, and I appreciate you. You know, what's really cool about that is Drake, Drake gets a lot of requests a day, and not just for stuff like this, but just his time. Yeah. And the fact that he took a few moments out of his day to send an inspiring message to this 14-year-old, and you could see in the video, it just absolutely made his day. Like, it was great. Yeah. and So sweet. So sweet. And something else that's really cool is a GoFundMe started for Zalik online, and it's already raised over $12,000. Yeah, Fantastic. his mom you know. kicked it off just like last night or something and started raising thousands. Great. So beautiful. Are you a have a coffee first thing when you wake up type of person? Well, yes. you should probably stop. Apparently, drinking coffee before breakfast could actually have negative effects. Uh, negative effects. This is according to the British Journal of Nutrition. Uh, it has to do with blood glucose, gl blood glucose control. Uh, the non sciencey word version of this is it messes with your sugar levels and can actually slow down your metabolism for the rest of the day, which is not ideal. Now, having said all that, Every six months, this changes. <laughs> yeah, because with fast people who fast, it's like, yeah, you can have black coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, drink, just drink water and coffee is what they always say yeah. about fasting, right? But they also say that intermittent fasting isn't good for you anyway. At least I they just did. can't keep. I just ate the I egg McMuffin, and I'm just not worried about it. You know what I mean? Like I'm drinking coffee and eating. I had a hash brown too with it. Yeah, it live damn. your damn life, Delish. and take care of yourself and everything in moderation yeah. and balance, and be be kind to your body. Like here's that's, your, that's it. Here's your diet. Are you happy? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Keep doing that. Yeah. 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 Mind your business. That's what's trending. I'm TJ. Right. Mind your business. Mind your friggin' business. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> so if got, I close my eyes, it's like I'm in Dartmouth. <laughs> uh, we've got Ghosted coming up in a couple songs because it's Tuesday and it's 8 o'clock. And I hope you're oh, yeah. ready for a good time. In the meantime, Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber, also a good time. I'm at a party. With Adam Wilde, TJ, and Jax. On 99.9 Virgin Radio. Friendsgiving with Swoop Airlines. We want to send you to see your friends next Thanksgiving. Because we got to have something to look forward to. Now, Caitlin is on the phone. And Caitlin, you texted thanks and then your story to 99999. We want to hear it. Because it doesn't just directly involve you. Well, so it's my boyfriend's birthday coming up. And his brother's wife just gave birth <gasps> to a baby boy a few months ago. Oh, oh that's awesome. So it's his first nephew. Yeah. And so it would be nice to surprise him with a trip when things get a little better to yeah. see his nephew. Okay, and where are they? In Vancouver. Oh, oh right on the West Coast. Coast. You know what gives me total total anxiety? What? Anytime someone says when things get better. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And I no, know we all have I to know. say it yeah. that way, yeah. but it's yeah. sort of like, wow. So that's why we're doing this, right? Is that like, yeah. we got to have something to look forward yeah. to. Yeah. So what we were thinking, Caitlin, if you'd be okay with it, is that we'd like to get him out there. What do you think about that? That would be amazing. Yes! Thank you guys so much. This is a step towards him already being the coolest uncle alive. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to be the coolest aunt. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, more importantly, you're going to be the <laughs> yeah. coolest aunt. Like, let's be honest. And also the best girlfriend ever. Can Hell we just yeah. talk about Hell that? Yeah. Hell yeah. Exactly. Yeah, when your birthday rolls around, he's really going to have to step his yeah, game no up. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Here's a gift card to Home Depot. <laughs> Caitlin, congratulations and congratulations to him. And, and we can't wait to see pictures next Thanksgiving when you guys all get together. Thank you so much. And if you need a Friendsgiving trip, please text thanks and then your name and then your story to triple nine double nine. Pretty easy. We're going to do this again tomorrow at 8.30. New.
This is what's trending right now. Toronto's top doc- doctor is asking people to only have Thanksgiving with people in your household and if you live alone to participate virtually. On Monday, the medical officer of health, Dr. Eileen Davila, says she is seriously asking that everyone rethink their Thanksgiving plan. She asked for people to not hold a big Thanksgiving dinner and to limit to the people you live with. If you live alone, the safest option is to join them through FaceTime or through Zoom or whatever. Uh, she's saying, far rather we change on Thanksgiving for safety's sake than look back with enormous regret. Just a huge bummer. Apple has changed the mask wearing emoji due to coronavirus. It's a very subtle change, but they made the eyes behind the mask look happier. So it's the emoji that has like the white mask and you can't see their face, but the eyes now are like straighter. They don't look really, they look emotionless. But the new ones, like they're kind of rounded, so they look like, you know how like, when you're when you're out in public at the grocery store and you have to like really do it with your eyes to show that you're smiling, that's what the mask or the, the emoji looks like. I know. say things under my breath under my mask. <laughs> you're do. an old lady already. I do. They don't know my word. But they can't see my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> the eyes look happy. They'll be none the wiser. Okay. By the way, this new version of the emoji is coming when the new iOS comes out, which should be end of this month, early next month. Is putting your Christmas tree up and calling it the fall tree the new trend? Because it's happening a lot on Instagram right now. People are putting their trees up, or at least have been for the last month, and decorating them with fall decorations. Think pumpkins and other things like pumpkins. And then when (laughs) Halloween's over, you change them over to Christmas decorations. Or if you live in the States, after American Thanksgiving in November, then they change it over to Christmas decorations. There was a time in my life where I would have rolled my eyes at something like this. But now... Kind of like, you know what? Whatever brings you joy at this point, just do it. Yeah. Well, no Who kidding. cares? Mind your business. Exactly. Have a good time. Feel good. Have fun. Last week, we were talking about this study that said people who put up Christmas decorations early are happier. And that's something to do with evoking childhood emotion or feelings of nostalgia, which in turn make you feel good. And exactly what you guys are saying. If it makes you feel good this year, just do just it, Just do man. it, man. <laughs> that's what's trending. I'm TJ. Thank you, TJ. All right. So, you want more money? We got it for you. $500 instantly. And you don't have to wait long. Just an hour. 10 o'clock with Robin with the Virgin Radio Moneymaker. It's 99.9 Virgin Radio. Work, work, work.